Could you speak a little bit, talk about things moving quickly in the, in the cyber world, uh, how, the, how the blockchain is affecting your businesses, how digital currency and even the onset of crypto, cryptocurrencies are affecting your, your businesses and how you're dealing with those issues in, in the marketplace. And I know it's a deep issue, but I'm just curious in an overview setting what you would have to say on, on those advancements. Yeah, blockchain would probably be most relevant to our business, to my business, versus crypto or um, other areas. So I, I can't really speak with any kind of authority on that. I would tell you blockchain has been a, a, you know, a statement that um, folks are, are, are uh, investment that people want for quite some time, but it really takes a partnership, right? Again, you can't just have say, well, we're into blockchain and then nobody else in your continuum um, is into blockchain. It hasn't been foundational or fundamental to our business, for instance, with retailers. The, it, folks are thinking about using it as a way to, um, to show, for instance, in the food supply, it came from this farm, it went through this process, this is how much um, you know, uh, added cost there was, et cetera. It's, so it's more of a quality um, measure and that would give consumers confidence. But still, it's not really embedded yet in the value chain because you really need more people involved and more uh, partners involved in that. So while there might be more discussion of it, it is not central, at least in the food supply. It is thought of as potentially a marketing um, advantage. I would agree with that. We are not seeing as much on the retail side because really it's about kind of the, the very beginning of the product all the way through its production, very relevant in food in particular. Um, from a crypto perspective, um, for us it's all about adoption and as a means for purchase on the retail side. I think Visa just came out recently said about $2 billion of purchases now were oriented in some kind of cryptocurrency. Um, and so, like always, what we're trying to assess is when do you get to an adoption level across um, our demand profile that makes it something we need to really consider how we want to interact with our consumers because they're so comfortable using it. I, I'd say broadly in retail, we're not quite there yet on the tipping point, though it's getting closer closer and closer as more currencies are adopted. I think what's tricky right now is you have so many currencies, each pretty volatile um, at this point in time, and then you also have retailers trying to figure out what their own status might be with their own currencies and whether or not they want to take on that as um, kind of their next level of innovation. So it's I, I'd call it broadly across retail, kind of in the very early stages. But like anything, we're going to take the biggest hints from our consumers, and as we see them ready to interact, we need to be as quickly as we can there for them.